I S U P K. Hey, Shalom, man. It's Priest Kevin in Doha with the I S U P K. And the Commander Journey in Holland, California, man. So, all blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You're going to learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Shalom. We want no cowards in our camp. In our camp. Ain't that something? 
Not even the person that's buying a gift, not even the father or the mother that's buying a gift gets the things. A holiday full of lies. And you and you stupid and dumb if you fall for it. Now if you if you are a child, I'll give you a little pass. But if you and I, if you are an adult, you are a full out fool. And I'ma get on you parents and you adults. Read it again. Read it again. Cause you cause you out here spreading the lies. Read again. Colossians chapter two, verse eight. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men, after the tradition of men, that's all it says. This is just a tradition. This is just a, a tradition of men. Christmas started a long, long time ago. It's, it, Christmas is after after a man named Nimrod, an Ethiopian man, and he died, and his mother wanted to keep his spirit alive. So she told the people that Nimrod was a, his spirit was alive in the evergreen tree. Why? Because that tree is evergreen. Then what she would do to strike more fear in the people, she would have, she would have the celebration, and whoever, and whoever did not celebrate the Christmas or that celebration, at night she would have the soldiers come in, chop those people's head off, and put it on the tree. So then the next day, when the people would come and see the, see the tree, and see the people's heads hanging on the tree, they would think, oh, the tree came alive. Nimrod is still alive. The tree came in, chopped the people's head off, and killed the people, man. That's what Christmas is about, lies. And guess what? You parents are terrible. You know why? Because I see a lot. Why? Because most children at the age of what? 9, 10, 11, 12, to 15, they stop believing in Santa Claus. And I have seen many of you, many of you parents, including mine, Will tell your will tell your children, oh, you don't believe in Santa Claus, so you're not getting no gifts. Isn't that isn't that strange? And y'all say the I should be is in a cult. No, America is in a cult, man. Christmas is in a cult. It's so bad when your child your child is 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 tired of living that lie of Christmas, and your child does not believe in Santa Claus. But the parent, the parent is saying you must believe in Santa Claus. If you don't believe in Santa Claus, you won't be getting any gifts. I had that happen to me personally when I was a kid. And I've seen it happen to other kids, man. But you know what? But then, but, but then you know, you know, you know how the parents are such a hypocrite? Now later on, when it's not Christmas, if that child lies to them, then that parent is pissed off. Then that parent beats the child if that child lies. Well, you to you, well, parent, you teach your child how to lie. You are teaching them the lies, man. This is the day of the lies, man. And we are, guess what? We are, we are spreading nothing but vain deceit and false philosophies with this Christmas, man. And, get, and moreover, the Lord hates it. The Lord and God, God hates this Christmas, man. It is not about him. It is, about, it, is, it is about idol worship. And we know how the Lord feels about, the Lord feels about worshiping false gods. He kills people who worship false gods. People die over idols and die over, over false gods, man. Christmas is a death of you, black man. Thanksgiving, Easter, all those things are the death of you. Who, who, who turned to the news today and seen how many young black men died at Christmas Eve? Hundreds of, hundreds of young black men and black men died and many, because of many different situations and scenarios. You had some people die shooting over drugs and shooting over money. You had some man kill his woman because his woman is, is, his woman is cursing him out and telling him, telling him he's nothing because he does not have enough money to give his kids gifts on Christmas. When that should not mean a damn thing. That teaches you the hypnotism of Christmas, man. If you really love that man, you'll wait and let that man give that give his kids some toys where he can a damn afford it. And pay for something that matters. Like the bills and like food. But it doesn't matter. 
but it does not matter. You are in a you are in an occult if you celebrate Christmas, man. Right. Straight up and down, an occult. And you're dying by it too. How many families are fighting at Christmas and can't get along at Christmas? But it's supposed to be about love. Right. It ain't about love. It's about lust and greed right. and how much you can get on that day. Right. That's what's a, that is what it is about. You are a selfish bastard for celebrating Christmas. And, 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 and moreover, you are disrespecting God and you hate God if you celebrate Christmas. Because Christmas ain't about God or Christ. Right. Right. Go ahead and read. Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. You up here, you, you are up here getting lied to. Read it again, brother. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. How many of you know? I got a question for anybody who can answer. Why do you celebrate Christmas? Can anybody tell me that? Why do you celebrate Christmas? Why? Why? Anybody? Anybody want to take a shot at it? Say it again. Let us know. Why do you celebrate Christmas? Why? Why? Go ahead. Why do you celebrate Christmas? Go ahead, brother. For family to they get it, brother hand. He said the brother said he celebrates Christmas because of family tradition. Now watch what the Bible says. Go ahead and read. About remember the word tradition. Go ahead. After the tradition of men. You see that? He answered it right. He said tradition, and the Bible says we are spoiled through vain philosophy, and we fall, and we fall out the men's tradition, man. The brother, what you gotta understand is that tradition is against God. That tradition is all about Satan and all about lust and greed. That's right. That's what that tradition is about. That's if you want to follow tradition, come and come and learn the Bible's traditions. Follow and learn Passover, man. What is a glorious day, and it's about your people, man. Follow the Feast of Unleavened Bread. That's a, a great and holy tradition. Follow a holy tradition. Try to uh, follow a good holy tradition, man. Which is which is the Feast of Tabernacles. Christmas is not a good tradition. But guess what? Today, today, black man, Latino man, they American, they American, any man, you get a pass for only today. Tomorrow, do not celebrate Christmas. No more Easter. No more Thanksgiving, because these traditions and holidays are against God, and God does not like it. But God but God has holidays in the Bible that we can celebrate and remember Him, and remember our people and our lineage, because black people are in the Bible. Latino people are in the Bible. They American Indians are in the Bible. Thank you, sister. They are in the Bible, man. Christmas is not about, it's not our tradition. Christmas is all wrong, man. False is idol worship. Read on. After the rudiments of the world, and it's after the rudiments of the world. And we know, and if you look around at this world, this world is evil and wicked, man. This world is evil and wicked and turned upside down. Give me, uh, give me Jeremiah ten to five. How, how is this world evil and wicked? This world is evil, evil and wicked because what? It does not give the right help. It don't give help. Black people are dying. Black people are struggling through poverty and poverty can't be solved if the, if the US government wanted to do it. Why do I say that? They give refuge to, every other, to everybody else and they give refuge for, to people who are not even from here, man. Remember, remember how the Arabs came over here from Afghanistan, or from when it came from Afghanistan. The, the Arabs that came over here from Afghanistan, they're not even from here. But America immediately took in tens of thousands of them and gave them refuge. Black man, how long have you been living in America? For 400 years. If you have, if you have, not, if you have not received any refuge from America, any. That shows you the white man is a devil. That shows you America does not care about blacks 
or Latinos or Native American Indians. They don't give a damn about us. Go ahead, let's read about Christmas. Go ahead. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 5. Give me verse 1. Come, on, come. Verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. O house of Israel. How many people knew? How many people know that in the Bible, God says, don't celebrate, don't celebrate Christmas. Christmas is very old. And we're reading about it right now in Jeremiah 10 and, 5, 10 and 1 through 5. Go ahead. Verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Learn not the way of the heathen. When you, when you look at the Bible, you'll see the word heathen. There's two, he, there's two, uh, there's a he, the heathen means this. Anybody who is not Israel. Who is Israel? The blacks, Latino, Native American Indians. If you're not black, if you're not American, Native American Indian, if you're not Latino, you are a heathen. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, man. You see some, some stars in the sky, you see an eclipse? Don't be all dismayed and all, you know, don't worship it like the heathens do. Them Arabs, they worship the moon and the sun. Them Africans worship the moon and the sun, man. Go ahead. They're very simple people. Go ahead. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Right, once again, because the heathens, they worship the moon and the sun. Why not, why not worship the man who created, why not worship the power who created all of this? The earth, the sun, the moon, the air, that gave you life, that gives death? Give him praise, give him worship. Go ahead. Verse three, for the customs of the people are vain. The customs of the the customs of the people are vain. The customs of the customs of Christmas and Easter means nothing. Go ahead. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Listen up. Uh oh. For one cutteth the tree out of out of a forest. So somebody goes in the forest and cut down a tree. Read on. The work of the hands of the workmen. The work of the hands of the workmen. Meaning, meaning what? A man, a man has to do this. A man, a, a man, a lumberjack or an axeman, he has to come and cut down this tree. Go ahead. With the axe. With the axe. Go ahead. The tree cannot cut down, be cut down by itself. An axeman has to cut down this tree. Go ahead. Verse 4. They deck it with silver and with gold. They do what with the tree? They deck it with silver and with gold. They do what? They deck it with silver and with gold. Deck the hogs with So listen. Listen, that's in the Bible. The Bible says heathens and simple and stupid people that celebrate, that have celebrations and that celebrations are dumb and stupid and that celebrations mean nothing. Cut a tree down and, and deck it with silver and gold. Stupid people do that. People, people who have no damn common sense cut a tree down and deck it with silver and gold. Read on. They fasten it with nails and with hammers. And they fasten it with nails and hammers. You know when you know you go get that tree. If, if you ever got a real Christmas tree, you know you gotta put it in that stand and get them screws and screw them screws into it. Or back in back back in back in the day, they would get them nails in that hammer um, with a stand so it can stand still. Read on. So so now so now you got a so now you have a tree that's decorated with silver and gold, and then it has to be pinned to it has to be nailed. So we can stand up straight. What does that sound like? What does that sound like? It sounds like what you're doing right now today. Right now today. Today is, is just another day. But to the but to most of the world, today is not today is not just a regular day. It's a special day. It's a day of love and jolly. And really, you're just gonna get drunk and get high and have sex. A lot of you are gonna have sex and have a one night stand tonight. And it's gonna be your, it's gonna be your your worst mistake. I know a lot of people 
who had who who who, who gave up who gave up, gave up some vagina just because it was Christmas. Just because it was Christmas, he was, like, he was like, yeah, I let him hit. I let him hit just because it was Christmas. And the next day, that brother is gone. Or the next day, that woman is gone. And now you're pregnant off a of one night stand. Or now you got an STD off a of one night stand. And the, and, the, and the name was old jolly old St. Nick. You got an STD because of St. Nick Day. How stupid are you? And the Bible says you're stupid. Go ahead. That it move not. So you so guess what? You cut a tree down, you decorate it for silver and gold, you fasten it on a on a on a stand so it cannot move. Read on. That it move not. That it move not. Because if you don't, you already you, you already cut it from its roots. You already cut it from its roots. So now you got to make it stand up again. You gotta nail it and fasten it. Read on. Verse 5. They are upright as the palm tree. So now, just like a palm tree stands up straight, now that the, now, now, now that you decked it with silver and gold, and you nailed it down so it can stand up, it's standing up straight like a palm tree. Go ahead. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. But it speak not. This Christmas tree speaks not. It don't speak, but you do. You, you, circle, you circle around the tree and sing to the tree. You sing your Christmas carols and everything else. And you got to listen. And, 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 and I be pissed off. I be pissed off because y'all be rocking and rolling. Y'all be rocking, but in the wrong spirit. And, 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 don't, and don't let black people... Don't, don't let black people get a... Listen. Don't let black people get a hold to it. Get a hold of anything. Because we, we're going to make it so much better. Before the white man, he was singing his Christmas carols. Negroes got to it and made it something live. And black man, that's the wrong spirit. Don't put our, our holy, glorious spirit to the tree. Read on. They must needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them. Be not afraid of it. You know why? Because back, because back when Christmas first started, People would think if you did not put, if you did not put a, a Christmas gift under that tree, that the tree would come alive and kill you. That's what they used to think back when Christmas first started. They would think that that Christmas tree will come and kill you. Go ahead. For they cannot do evil. For well, the tree cannot do evil, but you can. That tree, that the, 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 the most innocent thing on Christmas is the tree. Because it's, it's just a tree. But you are evil. An argument is about to start in front of that innocent Christmas tree. Two people are about to fight because somebody only got a pair of socks. Or somebody only got a sweater. Or somebody did not get them lace panties they wanted. Or somebody didn't get that diamond ring they wanted. So now it's a fight. This ain't what I asked for. Why, why, why are you fighting your man over a ring? When uh, old Johnny St. Nick was supposed to give you the ring. I thought, I thought, Santa, Claus, I thought, I thought Santa Claus existed. Why, why are you yelling at your man? Because he ain't get a ring. I thought Santa Claus was real. Your beef was with Santa Claus. Not that black man. Not your man. See, the, you see how the lies, you see how, you see how the lies spin and twirl and swirl? You see how the lies swirl? You tell your children to believe in Santa Claus. But, if, if, but a black woman or a black man... If your woman or your man don't get you what you wanted, you know who to go to. You go to the source. All of a sudden, the fat, uh, the fat St. Nick, that fat white man, he ain't your source no more. You know who the source is. Fox Eats. I roll with warriors and them garments be looking glorious. Feel like 20 sets of fists hitting you, but it's four of us. They always scream squad, but loyalty just mean more to us. Let the 40s bust when it's time, unleash the hunters. I done seen stand up niggas turn into runners. Niggas with weak right hooks turn into gunners. Soldiers in abundance, marching in by the hundreds. We don't hold no punches, we letting them go in bunches. Crawled up out the dungeons and now we do it humongous. Waiting on a hater to flex. We doing lunges, rappers better give me respect, this beat punished Really I don't worry about credit or where it's due Just know 
your favorite rapper a toilet, I'm number two Camp full of animals like I'm running the zoo Call me Tyler Warhol, either call me the Jew Shit, you can call me the king, I'm ready to rule Only sharks swim here, rappers get out the pool Only real spitters can wait in this type of water A renaissance coming, we cutting your time shorter You had a good while to get your fares in order